This is an example on double integrals with polar coordinates. The example is evaluate integral of sine theta over a region R where R is a region in the first quadrant that is outside the circle R equal to 2 and inside the cardioid R equal to 2 times 1 plus cosine theta. In order to evaluate the double integral, you must figure out what is the region R looks like. The region R is bounded outside the circle R equal to 2, which is a circle center at origin with this 2. And inside the cardioid of R equal to 2 times 1 plus cosine of theta. which is given by the blue curve and let me change the color because I think the color should be darker the region inside the cardi right and outside the circle in the first quadrant will be highlighted later on for you to see The region R is shaded here now, and we are doing a double integral over region R, sin theta dA. Now, in converting to polar coordinates, dA can be written as R dR d theta. Therefore, in order to find the limits of integration, you need to figure out outer limit for theta, inner limit for R, of sine theta R dr d theta. Let's find out what is the limit for theta. For the shaded region, we know the smallest theta measured from the positive x-axis. This is where theta equals 0. All the way to here, this is for theta equal to pi over 2. Ninety degree. Therefore, the value of theta goes from theta equals 0 all the way to here where theta is pi over 2. Therefore, the limit of theta is from theta equals 0 to theta equal to pi over 2. Next. We're going to find the limit for r, distance from the origin. First, we fix any theta. And so, we have a straight line. Now, the possible value of r is smallest r is r equal to the largest r for the shaded region is r equal to 2 times 1 plus cosine theta. So this is the possible value of r. 2 to 2 times 1 plus cosine theta and this is true for every theta from theta equal 0 to theta equal to pi over 2. Therefore, the limit for r is r equal to to r equal to 2 times 1 plus cosine theta. Therefore, we are actually dealing with this double integral 
integration of sine theta r dr d theta, where theta from 0 to pi over 2, pi equal to 2 to i equal to 2 times 1 plus cosine theta. So you must do the inner integral first. which is the integral of i equal to 2 to i equal to 2 times 1 plus cosine theta of sine theta r dr. Now, treat sine theta constant because we are treating theta constant. So this is equal to sine theta times r square over 2 r equal to 2, r equal to 2 times 1 plus cosine theta, which is sine theta, put r equal to 2 times 1 plus cosine theta, we get 2, 1 plus cosine theta square minus 2, or 2, sine theta times 1 plus cosine theta square minus 1. Therefore, we are in fact doing an integration of 2 sine theta times 1 plus cosine theta square minus 1 for theta equal to 0 to pi over 2. Let's do a substitution. I'm going to let you equal to 1 plus cosine theta and then du d theta is negative sine theta therefore negative du is sine theta d theta so if I ignore the limit Integration of 2 sine theta times 1 plus cosine theta square minus 1 d theta is actually equal to minus 2 times mu square minus 1 d mu since sine theta d theta is negative du. So after integration, I get minus 2 times u power 3 over 3 minus plus 2u. Put the u equal to 1 plus cosine theta, you have integration of 2 sine theta 1 plus cosine theta square minus 1 d theta is equal to minus 2 third of 1 plus cosine theta power 3 plus 2 times 1 plus cosine theta plus c. Substitute the limit from theta equal to 0 to pi over 2. So you have substitute theta from 0 to pi over 2. The first term becomes minus 2 over 3 times 1 plus cosine pi over 2 power 3 plus 2 times 1 plus cosine pi over 2. After you Substitute the upper limit and then subtract. Substitute theta equal to 0, get 1 plus cosine 0, power 3 plus 2 times 1 plus cosine 0. After substituting the limit, final answer is 8 over 3.